food shortage. So we irrigate, we plant plants. We're using the only natural mechanism to cleanse the atmosphere and we're solving the world's food shortage at the same time. If we go ahead and do this, nobody ever has to be without food again because there's water for everybody. Okay, so now there's plants for everybody and there's food for everybody. I live in the state of California. Last year in the state of California, we lost $260 million of agricultural production because those farmers had to keep their fields out of production because there was no water for them. That can never happen. In one of the most fertile agricultural growing regions on the surface of the planet, where a shortage of food is happening worldwide, farmers were actually forced to leave their fields idle. There's no reason for this. There's no rationale for this. The water is there. We need this technology desperately. We have that technology and it kicks open the door to so many other things. If we have surpluses of food, we no longer have to use pesticides. We no longer have to use chemicals to supplement our growth. In fact, we don't want to do that because what happens is those pesticides and those chemicals to spur the growth and enhance the growth of, of the plants and products that are in the ground, those go into water runoff and create death for animals in our streams and lakes and fish. They also go into our underground water sources and an underground water source that becomes contaminated stays that way for several thousand years.